This is Five on Your Side at Noon, focused on you. Developing at noon, St. Charles shuts down the only remaining water well in the city, once again placing the blame on contamination. Thanks for being here at noon. I'm Kay Quinn. The move comes after Ameren was ordered by the federal government to clean up previous water contamination in St. Charles. Five on Your Side's Brent Solomon has reaction from the mayor, who thinks the new problem is connected to the water problems of the past. Everyone deserves clean drinking water no matter where you live. It's why Kara Elms with City of St. Charles Clean Water Advocates is ringing the alarm. I've been asking about how this site is being monitored. She's referring to the St. Charles well field where the EPA ordered Amarin to remove cleaning solvents from decades ago that led to contamination. At the time, St. Charles closed six of its seven wells as a result. Monday, city leaders announced they now have to close the remaining well. What we suspect is Ameren in their process of, of cleansing the substation has released a lot of chemicals into the soil, which stripped out the contaminants. Thank you. But it stripped everything else out too. The mayor says that includes ammonia, a vital solution for keeping drinking water clean. Now, the city is paying more to purchase more water from St. Louis for people who live in St. Charles. Over the weekend, city leaders discovered unusually low levels of ammonia in the well field. How low is it and where should it be? So the ammonia level that we are currently at is approximately a third of what it should be. Um, it's too low for us to be able to continue to produce safe drinking water. An Ameren spokesperson telling us, quote, we have not received any data or analysis indicating that a report of an issue at the Elm Point water treatment plant is connected to Ameren. We remain focused on remediation efforts at our substation. All work has been approved by the EPA and is done under the agency's supervision. We'd like to, you know, source our own water and not be dependent on someone else. Brent Solomon, five on your side. Now, St. Charles had planned to turn the water wells back on this month. The city purchased an eight to ten million dollar water system to upgrade uh, and accompany Ameren's cleanup efforts. But then this new problem surfaced. So now the city will continue to buy water from St. Louis. Also developing, police are looking for the people who stole several veteran memorial plaques from Jefferson Barracks Park. The stolen items include a marker dedicated to Wagner Electric employees killed in World War II and a bench plaque dedicated to Battle of the Bulge veterans. Other plaques represent the Army and the Marines. It's not known when they were stolen. If you have any information about this, you are asked to call St. Louis County Police. Happening today, the St. Louis County Council expected to discuss tax incentives for Boeing as the aerospace company plans to expand. The $2 billion investment could add 500 jobs to the area. Last week, the St. Louis Lambert Airport Commission approved the plan, allowing the company to expand onto 154 acres of airport property. Also today, Missouri Governor Mike Parson will be in Columbia. He's promoting the state's new name image likeness law. He'll hold a ceremonial signing of House Bill 417 at Faroe Field at the University of Missouri. The law allows student athletes to profit from endorsements. It goes into effect August 28th. High school athletes will be allowed to earn money immediately after signing with an in-state school. Have you checked out your weather lately. It does not feel like mid-August. It actually feels like fall. Temperatures in the 60s. Here's a live look at conditions. Cloudy and cool. Sprinkles in my neighborhood, Gary Frank. You're here with the Weather First forecast, but yeah, we had a little bit of rain. Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely cooler. You know, you had some light rain here and there, uh, drizzle. It felt, uh, you know, a lot like, uh, did not feel like August, right? I had the windows open last night. Uh, you know, it, it was just strange. And we're giving our AC a break. We're going to be able to do that through most of the day today uh, as it's very gloomy, and we'll continue to stay that way. Uh, you can see where the thicker cloud cover is starting to work its way finally around Bowling Green, and that's eventually going to bring us more sunshine. Until then, we're stuck in this gloom, which is not all that bad if you just want a day where it's not quite as hot and temperatures have held steady. Uh, they're in the low 70s right now. And Combine that with low humidity. These numbers in the upper 50s, that's why we've dropped so low. Uh, 71 with a northwest breeze. This does not feel like August at all. It feels a little strange. 
Uh, we have gusts upwards of 20, but it's not all that bad. We should not see anything too significant. I think we still top out in the upper 70s, but I just don't see there's any way we get to 80 degrees today. We'll talk about how close we are to another record low overnight before things heat up again, Kay. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you, Gary. The city of St. Louis narrowing down ideas for the future of the old jail known as the city workhouse. Some of the possible plans include an industrial site, a memorial or museum, an animal shelter, or returning the land to native tribes. The jail closed in 2021 after claims of inhumane conditions from inmates. Another survey will be conducted later to narrow down the choices. Then a committee will present them to the city. The city dealing with more emergency response issues. The latest happened this weekend after a double shooting in downtown St. Louis. A couple claims to have called 911 twice and no one answered. Police say two groups started arguing Sunday night on Olive. Several people opened fire. Two people were shot. Phone records show the couple who witnessed the shooting called for help at least twice. No one ever answered their call. We talked with a St. Louis alderman about the problem. He says there's a way to fix the dispatcher shortage. I don't think anybody in public safety should be making less than 48,000. And I still think that's low. And you make double that. I do. To be honest, I think our dispatchers are worth just as much as our aldermen's are paid because their job is just as critical. The St. Louis Police Department is expected to give us information today about those emergency response times. A recall alert for those who buy marijuana in Missouri. The Division of Cannabis Regulation is asking dispensaries to pull products made by Delta Extraction. The agency says the products present a potential threat to health and safety. So far, there have been no reports of adverse reactions. You can find a full list of the recalled products there online at cannabis.mo.gov. Indicted again. The latest legal troubles Donald Trump now faces, this time in Georgia. And how someone was able to get inside video of the wildfire in Hawaii. 